America. The president blasted the presumptive Republican nominee's proposals. He suggested Trump's rhetoric towards Muslims was, quote, doing the terrorist work for them. <clears throat> we now have proposals from the presumptive Republican nominee for president of the United States to bar all Muslims from emigrating to America. We hear language that singles out immigrants and suggests entire religious communities are complicit in violence. Where does this stop? Are we going to start treating all Muslim Americans differently? Are we going to start subjecting them to special surveillance? Are we going to start discriminating against them because of their faith? We've heard these suggestions during the course of this campaign. It makes Muslim Americans feel like their government is betraying them. The president also said our government has acted out of fear before and gone on to regret it. A CBS News poll out this morning finds 25% of Americans approve of Donald Trump's response to the Orlando attacks, while 36% approve of Hillary Clinton's response. And a new poll from Bloomberg Politics shows that Clinton is leading Trump by 12 points, 49 to 37%, in the presidential race. Chip Reed is in Greensboro, North Carolina, where Trump attacked Clinton and said that the president was more angry at him than he was at the Orlando shooter. We have a radical Islamic terrorism problem, folks. We can say we don't. We can pretend like Obama that we don't. At a rally here last night, Donald Trump painted an ominous picture of the terror threat facing the U.S. We can't continue to live this way. People are going to be afraid to go out. They already are. Arguing we're less safe now than before President Obama took office, Trump promised he would protect the country better than Hillary Clinton. We're going to go to the movie theater. We're going to go on airplanes. We're going to lead our lives like we're supposed to lead our lives. Trump also continued to hammer both Clinton and the president for avoiding the term radical Islam. Political correctness is deadly they don't want to talk about the problem an argument both mr obama and secretary clinton countered in their speeches not once has an advisor of mine said man if we really use that phrase we're going to turn this whole thing around not once is donald trump suggesting that there are magic words that once uttered will stop terrorists from coming after us Trump has another rally today in Atlanta where he's expected to continue to hammer President Obama's and Hillary Clinton's terrorism policies as weak and ineffective.